much awaited uh, double decker air conditioned electric buses are going to start uh, from non next week onward uh, we are in the process of getting the first delivery in a couple of days and after that uh, we have to register the vehicle and then we will start the uh, operations with these uh, new buses by end of this month we are expecting uh, five uh, vehicles and after that uh, we are going to uh, receive uh, 10 to 15 vehicles every uh, 15 days so by march end uh, we are expecting major uh, part of the delivery will be over and these buses will be in the service Actually, we have uh, identified uh, routes on which we used to uh, fly these double-decker buses and uh, most of these routes will be the same on which we have very uh, heavy uh, crowd during the peak hours. And uh, some of these routes are like uh, are operated by Kulaba Depot, uh, Kurla Depot, Majaz Depot. So as we keep on getting the buses, we'll start operating the traditional routes on which we used to operate the double-decker buses. We are uh, going to operate these from the Kurla depot as uh, we are in the process of getting that uh, charging infrastructure uh, ready. And uh, as we keep on adding the buses, by that time all the depots, the four depots we have identified, they will be having the charging infra ready and then we'll start operation in each depot. We are operating uh, at the moment 406 uh, electric buses, which is the highest uh, number of electric buses in any uh, ST or CTU in the country right now. In fact, uh, let me correct my figure 406, uh, no, it's a 410 now because we are running four electric uh, premium buses also. So, uh, in the premium bus segment, also we are expecting that uh, by the year end we'll have around 1000 uh, electric buses. So, in total, uh, the fleet size will become around 4000. Uh, of electric buses, yes. As of now, we have five uh, depots which are uh, having the charging facilities and as we are adding more buses, so we have already identified or allocated the depots for the operators and they are in the process of setting up the uh, uh, charging infrastructure and uh, as we keep on getting the buses, uh, all this charging infrastructure in parallel is being read, uh, getting ready. So all the depots, in fact, uh, by the year end, now what we are uh, going to have, all the depots will be having charging facility and uh, as by year 2026, we are planning for uh, 10,000 buses, which all will be electric buses. So accordingly, the charging infrastructure will be put in place. Right now, because of this uh, limited number of depots are having uh, the charging infra, so we have to bring back the buses for charging in these uh, depots only. But now, when we have all uh, the depots having the charging infrastructure, we are also getting the long range buses. So, most of the buses we are getting now will be having a range of uh, more than 200 km in single charge. So, that charging infrastructure will be required during the night hours for charging. And uh, this uh, will uh, provide uh, much needed uh, flexibility in the operations and uh, all the depots will be able to handle the electric vehicles there. So actually, uh, the financial assistance we are getting from the corporation is basically for bridging the gap between the revenue uh, receipts and our uh, operational expenditures. And uh, we have a uh, deficit of around uh, 2000 crores uh, in the budget which we have presented to the corporation. So this uh, uh, majority share of this will be basically uh, to bridge this uh, gap. But when we are doing at the same time, uh, we have taken uh, up the program of fleet uh, upgradation and augmentation and that too by uh, way of putting electric air conditioned buses uh, in the fleet. So essentially we are uh, by the end of this financial year 23-24, uh, uh, we will be having our fleet size from the present size of 3300 buses to 7000 buses and the majority of these buses will be uh, electric. So our fleet will become 50% electric by end of this uh, financial year. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.